Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to tell you something. Please watch video completely and sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. If you find somewhere difficulties, then write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And this question is based on IIT JE Advance. And so, therefore, watch it carefully. What the question says, Consider a regular polygon with number of sides n equal to 3, 4, 5 as shown in the figure. The center of mass of all the polygons is at height h from the ground. They roll on a horizontal surface about the leading vertex without slipping and sliding as depicted. The maximum increase in height of the locus of the center of mass for each polygon is delta. Then delta depends on n and h as you have given four options delta equal to h sin square pi by n b delta equal to h ten square pi by 2n delta equal to h bracket 1 upon cos pi by n minus 1 and last d option is delta equal to h sin 2 pi by n now clearly you can see that you have given three figures that is a polygons they are triangular, it is square, it is pentagon. And so center of mass, given that from the ground, it is h height above from the ground. And whenever we have to giving some motion, let us consider this end point as a center and that it is moving. Then let us consider this is the radius like that and the center of mass will be changed that time whenever we have to give some motions. Then let us first we have to find out the angle. Of these centers, as you know, that this is the polygon, and so what is the angle now? Total sum of the angles is 360 means 2 pi, and upon sides, how much side? 3 sides, the here 4 side, it is 5 sides, so therefore we can consider n side and divided by 2 because it is in equal position divided by 2, then 2 pi by 2n that is the each angle from this side, this side is pi by n. Now, cos pi by n, you can see that here the center of mass will be changed whenever we have to consider axis of rotation is n. Then pi by n, this side opposes the perpendicular, this is the base and this is the hypotenuse. Then h by y. Then y can be written as h by cos pi by n. Is it clear? Now, what is the difference between the center of mass? The center of mass equal to total y minus h. That is the shifting of center of mass. Then substitute the value of y from this given equation h upon cos pi by n minus h. And h will get common. h get common. Then formula become 1 upon cos pi by n minus 1. This is the correct answer. I hope so. You understand. Thank you for staying till the ends of this video. And yes, let me remind you again, don't forget to subscribe this channel that can reach more and more students and you will get the next link of the video. Thank you.